Hello, my Papa. So, I promised to share with you my Instagram live cooking sessions here on the YouTube channel whilst I get some new filming gear together. So, I really hope you will enjoy this one. I tried not to edit it so much so that it doesn't take away that live cooking feel it had on the stories the Instagram stories so it is a bit long but I hope you will enjoy this session in-depth session of how I cooked this lovely suya chicken kebabs and grilled chicken so I had it in two ways so yes we have two recipes on here for you today i hope you really enjoy it so for my chicken here i'm using chicken fillets so this is chicken thigh fillets so it's basically your chicken thighs but they've taken out the bones which makes it so easy especially when you want to use it for kebabs um, i love using fillets for kebabs rather than i mean chicken thighs for kebabs rather than the chicken breast because i find the chicken thighs much more flavorful and it doesn't really dry quickly so here's one pack this pack contains 900 grams of chicken thigh fillets one pack in here that I have diced into cubes for my kebabs and the other pack which is just this is how it looks right so yeah just that one pack in here nothing done to it and I'm going to season it this will be for my to go with my jollof rice okay so I just want to show you another option of um, seasoning that you can do a simple flavorful um, option so that is just using lemon ginger garlic so I've got some ginger here grated ginger grated garlic lemon zest and just add in after village kitchens and spice blend to it and some salt it's enough to give you such a lovely lovely taste I have this recipe on the YouTube channel I think it's called um, lemon 10 spice blend uh, chicken I can't remember the exact title but I served it with salad and it was just nice so you can have a look at that on the YouTube channel make that simple variation but today I'm making Indian style tandoori kebabs and I'm just having the same kind for my chicken um, yeah today's a tandoori chicken so I am going to show you the spices that I'm going to use to have that lovely tandoori style flavor so in, on here I've got my lemon zest the lemon zest, some grated garlic, some grated ginger, about a teaspoon each um, in both. And then I've got my, this is yogurt, natural Greek yogurt that I have been straining to get all that liquid out. Just look at that, how much liquid I have been able to drain. So using a sieve and a tissue paper, and I've got four tablespoons of Greek yogurt in here too. so basically it's two tablespoons each for each pack okay so I'm going to use natural yogurt to that I'm going to add some this is turmeric some turmeric I'm going to add some cumin this is cumin and I'm going to add some coriander this is coriander powder and some Kashmiri pepper. So Kashmiri pepper gives a lot, gives this orangey color, and uh, but it's just, it's got some spice kick to it, but it's not very very hot. And I'm going to add after village kitchen's ten spice blend as well, some lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice. So half um, the lemon, one for each pack, half of it for each pack and some salt 
plant village kitchens um suya pepper but this will be used as a sprinkle on the kebabs i'm not using it to season the chicken but it is there for at the end when i am done and it just goes on as a garnish and of course some salt to season it so yeah let's get straight into it so i've added in the yogurt i um, divided it equally two tablespoons each to this i'm adding some salt okay. and i'm going to add in the 10 spice blend one teaspoon each And I'm going to add in the turmeric. So I'll do half a teaspoon of the turmeric because it colors it, I'm, I'm not looking for it to be so yellow. Next, I'm adding in the Kashmiri pepper, one teaspoon each. It's not really spicy, but it gives it this lovely orangey color. And I'm going to add in, that's my cumin, half a teaspoon of cumin so now goes in my coriander ground coriander one teaspoon each of ground coriander and then finally my squeeze of lemon goes in here as well tablespoon of olive oil to help with the grilling okay. and now I'm going to use the good old fingers to get it all mixed in so it's really well coated with the spices smelling so good you know when you are cooking and your spices are smelling good you know the end result is going to be really good all right so spices swapped in nicely and i have covered it with cling film it's going to go in my fridge to season um, for some good couple of hours until when I'm ready to cook it. So with the kebabs, that's for dinner. So that will be cooked maybe about four or five-ish, depending on how the time that I've got to start making dinner. And it is really quick. For dinner, it's just a matter of um, cooking the chicken. And it is really, really quick. I'm going to have it with some um, skewer, with some bell peppers and onion. And basically put it on the grill for it to cook nicely and serve it with some um, pita bread or naan bread actually and some salad. So that's how quick that will be. And with the jollof rice, chicken, I'm and grill this when the jollof is almost ready. So this may not have as much time to season like the kebabs one, but it will still taste good because it will have at least two hours to season. I decided to use my tepayanki grill. I've heated it up, it's really rare and hot. So I took, out, I took out my chicken out of the fridge for some couple of minutes for it to come to room temperature and yeah I'm now grilling it using my Safayanki grill. It's such a beautiful day out here. So ideally we should be having some barbecue but at the same time it's just too hot to actually go out there and get the barbecue grill on so yeah tap a yankee grill to the rescue so yeah i'm i'm you see i'm even grilling this without any oil 
back spray it onto the grill remember i added oil to the seasoning so that oil and the fat from the chicken itself you know will cook this so for some couple of minutes just to let it char the bottom and also and then i'll flip it over for it to char and then to cook through nicely Let's turn, let's turn and see, or oh, just look at how beautiful it has charred. Let's turn another one. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. I love, um, you know, getting chicken crisp and nice and charred because it gives it a lovely flavor. Plus, all the flavors get sealed in so you are getting maximum maximum flavor when you treat it this way i could have used my pan grill to get the same effect but i thought let me change it up a bit plus this tapayanki grill is just sitting pretty in my pantry for too long i hardly use it so yeah it needs to come out today <laughs> So all of them have been turned around, the other side is cooking. So I'm going to spread some suya spice. This after the kitchen suya spice. I'm going to just sprinkle it over the top. You can also equally mix some oil with the suya spice and brush it over. Either way, it still will taste good. So yeah. The thing I love about chicken and cooking it on the um, either in the grill pan or on this Papayanki grill is that chicken doesn't take long to cook. Okay, so okay now turning it to the other side so that I can sprinkle the other side with some suya as well. It is almost cooked will finish it off nicely there we go and of course i'll serve it with more suya pepper and my tandoori style suya chicken was ready for us to enjoy with some jollof fries that I made for lunch it was beautiful the combination of flavors was just great it was lovely and I hope you will give it a try and enjoy it with your family so I've served myself a plate and I must say it's tasting gorgeous it's beautiful the taste of the chicken, it's succulent, it's juicy, and yeah, it goes well with everything else on the, on the plate. So on the plate here, I've also got some baked cauliflower. I basically seasoned it with some of the onion and ginger blend that I had for my jollof rice, and a sprinkle of 10 spice blend and oil. That was it, and some salt. That was it. And put that in the oven for it to bake. And it turned out beautiful as well. You need to try that as well. So, this was such a lovely combination. And I would say, do try it and feedback. So, next is our kebabs. So, I'll show you how I made that. Hello everyone, so we are now back to cooking our kebabs. It didn't happen yesterday because after the jollof fries for lunch, we were just so full, we didn't have any dinner actually. So for this morning, um, actually for this afternoon, what I've done is to skew my chicken with some onions some bell peppers that i cut up into cubes and just basically you know an onion 
um, chicken, onion, bell pepper, whatever kind of uh, designer you wish for is okay. So yeah, ready to grill and to eat. Grilling right away, nice and hot. And I love this grill for one thing because it gives that lovely charred effect that I want. Just like using a barbecue grill. I guess just like using a, um, an electric barbecue grill. So I can basically fit everything on this in one go. Lovely. Lady. There we are all finished up lined up so i've got some suya spice and oil in here and i'm going to use this to brush over the chicken as it grills to give it that lovely suya taste you want and at the end i will also sprinkle with a bit more suya so that's the grill yeah i'm going to Brush it. This is a lovely, lovely taste. It's smelling so good. The spice I used was it's just lovely. Yesterday's chicken was lovely, and you can tell because it smells lovely. So it is ready. I've kept it on low heat for it to cook through, and I've turned it on its side so that you know everywhere is cooked really well. There we go, and it's lovely charred all over. So good. I don't want it to dry as well. If it's left on for too long, it will dry out. You want it nice and juicy, unless you prefer, you prefer dry um, chicken or meat. I know some people prefer it that way, but I love it nice and juicy and just succulent. So it is done. I'm going to take it off in a minute. So I'm adding in this, um, the rest of the bell peppers and I'm just going to lightly toss this in the, the sauce that's left and also I'm going to sprinkle a bit of suya on this and this will go as a side. The nutty, nutty taste of this suya spice is just yum. Yum. We haven't launched it yet, but fully launched it yet. But you guys have, you know, forced me to actually start advertising, advertising without any labels. I'm really grateful for that. I'm grateful for your feedback because it really helps fine tuning the product to suit most people so this is done I'm going to take this off so 
so it's been taken off it's ready and whilst it's still warm i've just um turned off my heat it's still the plate is still very warm i'm just warming up my naan bread because i love it warmed up so yeah just warming it up a bit letting the residual heat warm it up a bit And I've got my salad ready. I've got a sauce I've made with um, yogurt and a bit of mustard mixed into it. And that will be drizzled over the pita bread and the kebabs. And I've got my salad and the peppers and a bit of suya. And that's it. That's for dinner. So, Meda Papa, I hope you enjoyed this one and you will try it for you and your family to enjoy. So, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button. You can also choose to follow on Instagram. I will encourage you to do that. And, Meda Papa, make the most of your current situation. And whilst at it, have a lovely time.